Welcome back to another Caden Live video editing tutorial. In this video, we're going to learn how to apply text on over top of a video and how to create a title introduction screen to your video project. So to get started, I'm just going to drag in some video that I already have. Um, we'll do this. Uh, we'll do one of these ones. Which one should we do? How about this one of the parrot? This is one we looked at recently. So we have this parrot here. We can drag it down into our video one. Uh, track on our timeline and now I'm just gonna play and we can see what this video looks like so let's say maybe before this video starts we want to have a title introduction screen well to do that we come up here and instead of clicking add clip so we likely we go to search a place on our computer to add video or audio or picture we just go to this little drop down here and we go to uh, add title clip and that'll bring up this dialogue here we have this back, this uh, yeah, this, this this view of these checker boxes. This is a transparent background, and we can come up here to these text tools. We can click Add Text, and we can click, and then it creates something that says Text on here. And oops, I think we can just start. We have to double click it. So we double click it, and then we can go in and actually edit this text. So I'm gonna call mine. Um, Welcome to TJ Free. And then we come up here, we have our selection tool up here, so we can uh, click off the text, click on the selection tool, and then we can click and drag it around and move it. We have options for controlling it over here. So we can change the font size. If we select all this, we can actually change the font size and make it larger. We can change the font style. So we can find a cool you know, font that we like to use, with like Comic Sans. Uh, and then we can change the color. So we can make it red if we want to. Just keep in mind, it's going to be on a black background. So it looks like it's on these white squares now. But if we click down here at the bottom, this option that says Show Background, it'll show, well, it's going to be, right now it's showing the background over top of what it'll look like with the parrot. But if we were to put it before, uh, it would just be black. So before the video of the parrot starts, it'd be black. So, but this, looks, this is fine for adding it to here. Um, and then the outline of it is black. We can change the outline as well to a different color. Maybe make it green so it's the outline around the text. Oh, and it, it actually, we have to, to make it apply. Right now it's on, uh, it's completely non, it's completely transparent. So we have to bring this all the way up to full, uh, full non-transparency, I guess you can call it. And so now the outline of our text is green. Uh, yeah, and then it'll just stay there wherever we put it. And if we want to, there's some tools we can center it. If we click this button, it centers it with the video. Um, along the vertical axis, and we can click this one to center it along the horizontal axis. Uh, axis. We can click this button to have it be all the way over to the left-hand side or all the way to the right-hand side. So there's some different options there. But I'm just going to leave this right in the center. Um, yeah, so we'll, let's click OK, and let's just see what it looks like now. So it's not on our video yet because what it does, it creates an actual title clip up here as if it was a, a video or audio file. So we have to drag and bring it into one of our video tracks. So if we put it on video two, uh, if we put it right in the middle of video two, what'll happen is when we start playing the video, it'll wait till it gets to that point, and then it will overlay it as soon as it gets to that point of the video. This does have audio. I thought in the last video, I thought this didn't have any audio, but it turns out it does. And so, okay, we're gonna go back over here. And now if we move it to the beginning of the video clip, we'll see it'll play at the beginning. But then it'll only play for a short amount of time, and then that clip will disappear. So by default, the video clip is five seconds long. If we double click, we can see the duration, five seconds. So we can change this if we want it to be longer. If we want it to be 15 seconds, we can just type in here, one, five, hit OK, and it makes it 15 seconds long. We can also go to the end of the title clip. If we hover over, we get this cursor. Our cursor changes to these uh, horizontal arrows. We can left click and drag and make it the same length as our video if we want to have this text be over the video the whole time. And we can drag from the beginning too, so we can resize the clip that way. And if we want to be if we want this to be an introduction and not have it be with a parrot, we can just move the parrot video forward to about here. If we move it completely forward, then we'll see the title of the video. It'll just play like this, and then it'll go directly from the title screen 
to the video clip of the parrot. Uh, and if we want to have a little overlap there, we can do something like this. So we can drag it. And so we can actually have this video overlap a little bit with this parrot video. So now it'll play. And then it'll show the video of the parrot and keep the text on the screen. And then the text will go away. All right. Um, something cool we can do, since this is black, I'll just show you, since we've been doing effects in the past, there is a cool effect that's called Fade From Black. So if we drag on Fade From Black, it'll fade in this video from a black background. And since our title clip is already having a black background like this, it'll create this cool effect, and it'll kind of, the text will disappear, and then it'll fade in. So let's play this and see how it looks. So it's just playing the text right now, and then we'll see a fade. So the parrot fades in instead of just, it's just being instantly there. And we can adjust the, the duration of this fade too by using this scroll bar here. And there's also a fade out. If we want to apply a fade out to black, we see it creates this little red triangle and we can fade out to black as well. So at the end of the video clip, it'll just fade into blackness. That is using uh, the text tool to, to create um, a title clip to create text over top of video or an introduction title before the video starts. Appreciate you watching this video. Hopefully you found it informative. Join me on the next one. See you then.